how to and tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how you can create animated videos using Powtoon. So Powtoon is a easy to use web application, which you can use to create such beautiful animated videos. So let's get into it. First off, you're just going to click on start now, and then you, you are going to put in your email address and your password that you want, and you will create your account on Powtoon. Once you do that, you will have your basic dashboard. So this is what your dashboard is going to look like. And over here, you can see on the left, you have your home, your templates, your imports, your blank pages. Then on the right, you have your toolbox, which has a variety of Powtoons that you might have already created, a learning center and apps and integrations. So you can see that just below your uh, workspace at the bottom, there are the featured templates. So templates that are currently very popular are present here. So we're going to click on create at the right. And let's just say that we are creating a animated explainer. And now Powtoon is suggesting me templates that would be fitting for a animated explainer. So it's that easy. If you click on whiteboard video, they are going to give you templates for that. If you click on presentation, you will get templates for that. If you click on infographics, you will get templates for that and so on and so forth. So you can also filter out the templates. So if you want whiteboard only ones, they will show up over here. If you want infographics, they will show like this. And now you're going to select any template that you like. Or if you don't want to select a template, you're just going to click on blank over here at the left side. We're going to click on blank and then we are going to select the kind of project view that we want. So if we want to make it a horizontal video, a vertical video or animation or a square one, if you're using Instagram or something like that, you might want to keep your video square. If you are making it specifically for phones, you might want to keep it vertical. Or if you're making a HD kind of video, you will keep it horizontal. There's also the feature to capture it uh, in real time. And you can just skip that because that's usually more useful in terms of meetings or live streaming. Let's just say we are creating a horizontal video and then a new tab will pop up. Now this tab is basically the Powtoon Studio. So this is going to be your actual working space where you will be working and seeing your animations. So let's wait for that to load. And now Powtoon is asking me what kind of look I might want for my animation. I'm just going to skip this and we are going to start on a clean slate. So first off, it might get a bit overwhelming, but take a look at your left and you will see each individual frame of your video or slideshow. These these are going to be, you know, the frames and you can add the, and you can add another frame just by clicking on this plus icon. And, you know, now you have two frames and so on. You can add more. You also have grid views. So if you want to keep things very aligned, you can turn on the grid and make sure things are aligned the way you want them to be. So maybe you want certain text to appear like this or something to just be coordinated perfectly. You're going to turn on the grid and you can see if your text is centered or righted or lefted. Then you have your horizontal aspect ratio as you selected at the start. You can also zoom in or zoom out into the frame of the video. And on the right here is the more detail of stuff. Now. At the top, you have the templates that are provided. You can select any one of these styles and then look at more templates. Below that, you have your saving the current scene. So you can just save by clicking this button. Now you can also choose a scene. So the kind of layout that you want. And now after that, this is everything that is present in the first toolbox. You could say the scenes toolbox. Below that, you have background. After that, you have your text. After that, you have characters, then props, then shapes, then images, then videos, sound, and specials. So first off, we are going to select a scene. And if you have a scene that is already present in your downloads or something you've already chosen, you can upload that as well. We are just going to take a look at the scenes that are present in Powtoon. So let's just choose another look. Now we want to keep it cartoon and we are going to make it a situation. Now we're going to add this scene and now you can just see this gorgeous scene has been added. 
to our first slide. Now you can remove or add more elements to it. So now I'm going to click on the text and now I'm going to add a title. So, so first I'm going to move it over here. It looks good over here. Now I'm going to click on the settings bar and I am going to change the font. Let's just mass make it massive. From here, you can change the color. You can also change the opacity, the effect. So if you, you want your text to pop or fade or you want it to be written by hand, you can do that. You can make it bounce. You can make it appear like that. You can make it scale so it will appear one word at a time. You can also make your you know text roll. And there are a bunch more features available. I am going to go with the pop version. So after I have selected that, you can also lock all of your settings together so you don't accidentally change them um, once you are actually started on it. And then, you know, halfway through, you realize you changed something in the middle and you forgot about it. So now I'm going to type in my text, tired of your workload. And now you can see how this will actually appear. I'm taking a look at our first slide. I'm just going to click on it and then you are going to move your bar to the back and this is how it's going to appear so now you can see how the text has been added only in this specific part i typed it on so let's just say at this part you want to type some other kind of text so you're just going to pause it when it's over here or drag your little black arrow that's pointing downwards you're just going to drag it to the se section that you want to type your text on so let's just say i want to type my text in over here and i want to add some designed text so i want to add this kind of title so you can see there are a lot of varieties even on text let's just add this oh no this doesn't fit my theme i don't like it i am just going to delete this this looks all right it really isn't it really doesn't fit my background slide i think i'm just gonna add some plain text because the background animation is already so detailed that this kind of uh, text is just you know making my animation look a bit dull so i'm just gonna add simple text now i'm just gonna say like that and now i'm gonna move this text over here and now you can see over here you can drag how long you want this text to actually appear so let's just make it till here and now moving our black cursor to the back once more, we are going to take a look at how our animation is looking. So our, sec our first text is a bit too long. Uh, it's appearing on the screen for a bit too long. So what you're going to do is go back and select your text, look at the time and reduce the amount of frames it's going to appear in. So let's just reduce it to here. Take a look, drag your black cursor to this part. And you can see this is how it's going to fade away. I think this is the perfect timing for it to fade away. So now we're going to take a look at it once more. And now it looks perfect. And now I'm just going to customize this text a bit. I'm going to change the font. I'm going to make it the same as the other one. I'm going to change the color. I am also going to change the effect that it will appear on. So you can also add the writing effect so a hand will appear and it will look like the hand is writing that text that you have entered. Uh, I, I think that's good if you're making like blackboard videos or whiteboard videos. Uh, for that purpose, this looks very gorgeous. For animated videos, you might just want your, te your text to be popping or rolling or something like that. So let's just say our text is going to bounce. And now once you have done that, and you can just preview it once more, step by step. And this is how easy it is to create an animation using Powtoon Studio. I hope you guys like this video and you are able to now create easy animations using Powtoon. And I must tell you guys, uh, this is just the free version of Powtoon and all the features that I used, these are available on the free version. However, if you do want to pay for Powtoon, you get a lot more access. So let's just say, if you take a look at characters, you know, all of these characters are available on the pro version. Uh, so there's a lot more variety on the pro version. And I'll just show you guys the general pricing list of Powtoon. If you are considering subscribing to a plan, Powtoon programs start at $19 and they range up to $100 and you get access to 
uh, a lot of characters and backgrounds just on the $20 a month program. So if you're professionally making these videos and animated videos, uh, I would say just buy a program on Powtoon because it is a pretty efficient website to create 2D animations. And you can also consider getting maybe even the agency version because it provides you with unlimited premium exports and third-party reseller rights so you can actually use powtoon to create animations maybe you're just going to create a um, five minute animation and then you can just sell it for twenty dollars or ten dollars and your cost for the actual tool of powtoon will be just filled by just a couple of orders and then you can start making money off of powtoon just by creating these simple, easy to use animations. And there's also a pro version, and it also provides you with premium exports, 10 gigabytes of storage, unlimited access to all content. So this is very important to have unlimited access. So you will get to use all of their premium characters, background scenarios, text, graphics, and all that good stuff. So that was it for today, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.